Hello and welcome to YouTube channel of RVMax.us. My name is Sachin Shaw. My number is 864-404-0054. That's 864-404-0054. Our Sun Mines number is 864-376-5600. 864-376-5600. I'll repeat those numbers at the end. Today we're going to talk about this 1998 National Dolphin Model 5360. So that's a 36 feet long, 5360. Front windshields look good. No major damage, cracks. Got it. it's a 97 Ford Title. It's a 98 Dolphin. A little bit of a decals are, you know, dry rotted or dry cracked because of sun damage. But it's very, very clean motorhome. Let's walk through the coach here. Slide out topper is in really, really good shape up on top. We sold this motorhome back in 2017. A customer traded back in, bought a triple slide gas motorhome from us. Tires are about three years old. Take a look at it, it's got a leveling jacks. They work great, power gear leveling jacks. Deep slide out, it's a big slide out. You'll be amazed how inside it is. Got lots of storage and I'll go through another side and show you how clean they are. The fabric on the bottom of the storage is really, really clean. A little scratch right there. I mean, it is a 98 model motorhome, okay? Uh, decals are drying out or just a little bit. You step up back on the bridge here. Tag axle in a, in a motorhome, in a gas motorhome. It rides really, really nice. Like I said, they're about three years old. Tires, when he bought it, it put new tires. Got So decals are a little tattered up. You can take it off or leave it alone. It's got an awning on every windows, on the slide out living room windows, window back here in bedroom. It's got 130 hours on generator. Generac runs great. Um, it's got a, only 35,000 miles. Repeat, 35,000 miles. This is your wash bay, 30 amp power cord. Your money hole right there, that's where you put a gasoline. This little side marker light is cracked. A little scratch here. Well, we're trying to show you as many flaws as we know. Spare tire. I don't think it's been used. 5,000 pound towing capacity. Reese Type 3. Hitch. I mean, it's overall very clean. No major damage, you know. Okay, little scratch right here. Little boo-boo right there. All right, let me show you some of the compartment. Look at this, just a little. That's a pass-through storage. Well, it seems that way, maybe not. It's, it's pretty deep, really, really deep storage. This should be your LP tank. Yep, a little surface rust comes free of charge for age. Look at the tires again. Look at them close. Very, very good shape. So, you know, another awning on a bedroom. This is a national motorhome built in California. Unfortunately, they're out of business, but it's a Ford chassis. Everything like Generac air, uh, generator, IntelliTech converter, everything is in business. So just uh, they, they just made a shell acrylic fabric awning not vinyl it's a lifetime and they stay pretty large looks like a 24 feet um, look at this compartment they're very very clean this one is as well so 36 foot one big slide let me show you inside i'm really excited we did not put a hardwood floors but the customer who traded back in he put new blue carpet and a hardwood. Come on in. Turn that light on. Thank you. All right. Very, very clean. No odor of any type. No pat odor. No smoke odor. No mildew odor. Very clean. Look at the sink for 1998. I'm going to take a look at this. I've seen sinks that are like got scratch and all that. This is extra clean. Solid surface countertops, three burner gas stove. Just got a little debris. Got a convection microwave oven, 
double door refrigerator, runs on LP or electric power. They put a nice hardwood floors here. A little extra, I like the little extra counter space for kitchen area. Also, uh, will make you make everybody dizzy going back and forth, but here's another extra space. Booth dinette folds down in a bed. Got a little round little wear stain there. That comes free, so you know, you can recover those. Get on eBay and you can find these covers for next to nothing. 50, 60 bucks if you want a new. Here's a little suitcase. It has all the all the manuals and books and records. Everything is in here. Owner's guide and a rear TV. They, they've changed their generator, refrigerator, all motorhome oil changes, etc. From day one. Wow. Uh, all the records go with it. It's kind of like a buying a plane you got all the records that goes with it that sofa is in really really good shape it's a full pull out bed so it'll come out and uh, make a big bed here you could put a tv elevator here if you wanted to day and night shade they seems to be in good shape most of the lights works got a little table that comes out here between the uh, passenger seat that swivel around and a uh, recliner that moves around you get the picture uh, both seats flips around got a Vizio smart TV or I don't know if it's a smart don't hold me up to it it's a flat screen TV I've seen people put a swivel around uh, TV uh, what do you call mount and you could put a bigger TV so you can move this way to open this door, move this way to open this door, okay? All right, let's see, 135 hours on generator. Ford 460, no exhaust manifold, runs really good, 35,000 miles. We'll probably throw a um, test drive video later on. Air conditioning is ice cold on a dash air too, how about that? That is, a, that is a big plus. So you got your power gear leveling jack pad is right here. You just push button to level that you want it, the, the level it the way you want it. Got power mirrors, all that stuff. Uh, cruise control, I'm not sure if cruise work when we get on the road, we'll check it out. Horn works. Oh, backup monitor has been replaced. It's a nice backup monitor, it's color backup monitor. So that's a nice upgrade. Got uh, fans right here, let's see. Overhead fans, yep, they work. That kind of keeps you even cooler. Even has an old school DVD player with a cassette player. Um, so it's an old motorhome, but in really good shape. Very, very clean. We may have missed some flaws, but I don't know. Let's see, there we go. Oh, music's going on. All right, let's uh, come through the middle. This is your air conditioner. Uh, both roof air conditioners work really good. Let's see, uh, cool. All right, both of them on cool. 27 amps being used. That's your little electronic control management. It tells you what, how many. So we got a little closet here. Uh, September of 1997, that was it was manufactured. So it's a. Uh, it is a 98, but I think our title says 97 Ford. It is a 98 National. Some drawers here. I think you could put a washer dryer combo if you wanted to, or modify it and put a washer and dryer. Uh, let's see, bathroom area. Nice size tub, I like that. And look at the fabric up on top. No stains, no rotted out, no Meldew order, no meldew stains. Got a cabinets on the right, and some more storage under the sink area too. Hey, even has a hair dryer. How about that? All right, back here you got a little <laughs> pocket door. Speaking of pocket door, and they call right behind you. It's got a. It does have a sliding pantry. Uh, 
Oh, I'll demonstrate that. It's pretty neat. All your canned goods or cereal box or whatever you want to put up there. All right, so uh, pocket door here. We've got a, I couldn't get these lights to go on, so I don't know, maybe fuse or something, I'm not sure. We've got a um, coaxial hookup for TV if you'd like to put a TV back here. I'll put it on the wall up here. It's got a little patch here. I don't know what that is for, but the uh, wall seems to be very solid, okay? They must have a pictures on both sides. That's what that is. Yep. All right. I like the east to west bed configuration a lot better than a north to uh, south. People don't like to see, they don't like their, what do you call the guests to see their feet. The sideways is better. This is more preferred way of a bed. All right, some more bed sheets and pillow goes with it. They even have a 120 volt lamp on a both side. On they got both sides. You got a nice night lamps. Um, and we got a big coat closet back here, about 18 inch wide or something, but it's very deep. And shelf up on top. This will conclude our video presentation on this 1998. National Dolphin, I think it was a 5360. It's a 36 footer, one big slide in the living room, very good condition for its age, 36,000 miles. We have known this motorhome for the last three, four years. Someone traded it in uh, in 17 or 16 when we had it and we sold it to, uh, I'm not going to name the person, uh, he, he, he traded back in. So. Repeat business is a very good compliment to us. We're in a motorhome business, not in some food business that you run out every week, but you know, about every two, three years, people call us to buy another motorhome. It's the greatest compliment we can get. And uh, a really nice guy, he was happy with this motorhome and traded in. I believe uh, it's very clean. Please take a look at our pictures. The roof is in excellent condition, it's been resealed. I'll probably throw a test drive video later, but let me repeat my phone number is 864 404. 054 864 404 0054 or our son Mayan 864-376-5600. Thank you and have a blessed day. Right, I'm on top of the roof. Check it out. It's a rubber roof in really good shape. Uh, new air conditioner or new shroud. Got a max air lid on top of the vent and vent in the uh, living room. Got a satellite dish. Check it out. Looks very clean. That is a newer slide out topper. It's not original because not tethered up on the corners. Really good. Refrigerator vent looks good. Those vents and seals around the vents look good. Got another Max Air. That's your shower vent. Good rubber roof. One through ten, it gets about eight or nine. Thank you. Let's get back down and do the test fire. All right, we're entering Interstate 385 South. No, we're going north, I'm sorry. 35, 40, 45. We're in accelerating lane, so I'm just getting it up there. 50. Okay, so folks that have owned a motorhome, look at here. Easy to drive. Look at this, steering straight. I'm about 52, something like that. You're going to get the optimal gas mileage at about 60 miles an hour. 60, 65. You don't want to be flying around. The, the odometer says it can go up to uh, uh, 85 miles an hour, but I'm doing about 60 now. Hey, cruise engaged, I love it. So here we go. If you're going other direction, we'll be going to the beach. Uh, I'm doing about a little under 60. Uh, I can go faster. All I got to do is uh, set. There we go. It's 45 here, baby. OK, I'll stay. But look at this. It dead straight, drives really well. Cruise control works. Your dash air condition works. Brakes feel good. I mean, it is a big vehicle, OK? It's not going to drive like your little Honda Civic or Chevy uh, 
Cobalt or whatever they got. I don't know, a little car. It is a big, big truck, uh, but drives good. It's easy to drive. You just gotta make a wider turn. If you've never owned a motorhome, watch your mirrors. A uh, wiper works. I gotta turn the wipers off. There we go, they work. Uh, you gotta make a wider turn, left to right, and watch your bottom mirrors so you kinda stay away from uh, curbs so you don't go over the curb. This thing drives good, so let me tell you what. Uh, let me sum it up. 1998 Dolphin with only 35,000 miles. Uh, got a few little boobies around it. It is a 22 years old motorhome. Anyhow you cut it. Uh, it's a used motorhome. Got a few flaws, but got new carpet, new hardwood floors. Uh, tires are like three years old. Uh, you know, uh, what we're going to be asking right at 20 grand, under a little under $20,000. I mean, right now, with this pandemic, people are just buying up motorhomes like crazy. Uh, the book value doesn't mean anything. You get to throw the book out of the just window. A book value doesn't mean anything. Um, travel trailer without engine, without transmission, without leveling jacks. They're going for fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. This is a motorhome, a Class A with a big slide. So grab it while you can. It probably won't last after the video is published. You give it about a few days, it'll be gone. Now, I may be wrong, but that's what's our, lit, lately, that's our, um, what do you call it? That's our data. I mean, we put American Dream three days ago and it sold the very next day, 1999 American Dream. I think, you know, uh, some of this good old, hey, got a good, good music, all right. Uh, good old motorhomes, they're not left in someone's backyard, rotting away. And they're like this, they're ready to go, may have a few flaws, but ready to roll or hard to find. So uh, my numbers again is 864-404-0054 or our son, 864-376-5600. We do take trades. This is under $25,000, so we don't have a lot of sources to get you financed. So you need to go through your credit union or your own sources. We may help you, but we don't have a whole lot of sources for financing for under 25,000 or under 700 Beacon Score. Uh, we do sell warranty. You could probably get a warranty on this coach. So uh, I guess uh, anything else that I can add? I think that's it. Thanks for watching our video. And please subscribe to our channel, RV Max US. You'll see a lot of videos. Most videos are done with our son. And we get some of these budget motorhome we do videos. but. Uh, Thanks again for your time and have a blessed day.